John, and good afternoon again from Daytona International Speedway. Today it's the season opener for the ARCA Racing Series. And some of the great veterans in series history are here to compete today. Bobby Gearhart starts in the 14th position. Nine career victories, eight of them coming right here at the World Center of Racing. And then there's Frank Kimmel. He's starting dead last after some changes following qualifying, but that's okay because he knows how to get it done. Ten championships for the Southern Indiana native. He's never won here at Daytona. And the young guns, they're up front. What about a couple of 18-year-olds on the front row? William Byron, who will run full-time in the truck series this season for Kyle Busch, qualified second alongside Cole Custer, who becomes the youngest pole sitter ever at Daytona in the ARCA Racing Series. He's piloting the 54 today for Ken Schrader. They're all ready to go and get the green flag in 2016. Unit Today marks the 53rd time the ARCA Racing Series has competed here on the high banks of Daytona International Speedway. It's the season opener, the Lucas Oil 200. We're happy to have you along on FS1. Now let's hear from our pit reporters. Go trackside. We start things off with Ray Dunlap. In 1974, Iggy Katona won here at Daytona. At the age of 57, Bobby Gerhardt hadn't started racing yet, but you've got an opportunity to beat him in the record books today, Bobby. What will it take to win your ninth race at Daytona? Well, I had the privilege of meeting Iggy. In fact, uh, Ron set up a ride with Iggy and I and his son around the racetrack. And uh, pretty cool story. It would mean a lot. It would mean a tremendous uh, amount to me, first of all. I wouldn't say it was a record that I would swing the bat for, but, you know, it, it's been a it's been a great ride, Ray. I, I love coming here and, and um, a tremendous privilege to compete. I still enjoy to compete, so why not? He's got a really good car. Bobby Gerhardt's run here for 29 consecutive years, and the guy who's with Jim Trado is making his first start. And Ray, he's doing it in fine fashion. Just three days ago, he celebrated his 18th birthday, making his Daytona debut in a big splash. Pole sitter, Cole Kosher. This has to be exciting, knowing how much is on the line for you and your future going forward as a full-time NASCAR Camp Hero Truck Series driver. Cole, what do you expect to learn today? Uh, I mean, everything. I've, uh, I'm pretty new at this, so I'm just you know, trying to soak it up as much as I can. And you know, hopefully we can stay up front and uh, have a shot to win this thing. And uh, you know, I'm just going to be trying to learn as much as I can. And I can't thank Haas Automation, Gene Haas, and everybody enough for getting us here. And uh, everybody at Ken Shredder Racing, too. They brought a great car, and uh, it's been an honor to drive for them. There's a lot in your control, but here at Daytona, anything can happen. How have you planned for the things you can't control? Yeah, that's been my kind of mindset going into it. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of things you can't control. I think you can't control so you got to be good with things that you can't control so that's what i'm going to be trying to learn and trying to stay out front and uh, working with the guys around me cole custer has become the youngest driver in that uh, arca history to win on a super speedway youngest in the truck series today he become the youngest driver ever to win an arca race here at daytona Thank you, Jim, and hello again, everybody. So good to have you with us high above Daytona International Speedway on a gorgeous Saturday afternoon with Phil Parsons. I'm Adam Alexander, and Phil, the guys just talked about it. One of the storylines we will follow all afternoon long, this balance of youth versus experience. We just met an 18-year-old Cole Custer who's sitting on the pole here. There are three other 18-year-olds with an absolute amazing chance to win this thing and become the youngest winner here ever. William Byron is the guy starting on the outside of the front row. You talked about him earlier. There's his Liberty University Toyota right there. He's our K&N East champion from last year. Starts from the front row. He's finished second in his debut back at LOR last year. And how about Greg Galding here? So good. Won in the k and West Series at Phoenix before. A lot of top five finishes in the k and East. He will start just outside the top ten. He's another 18-year-old with a chance to win. And Kyle Weatherman. This young man is had 28 starts in the ARCA Racing Series. He's had one win and seven second place finishes. He starts back in the 32nd spot. He has his work to do, but he can become the third Kyle, the third 18-year-old Kyle to win here at Daytona, joining Kyle Petty, our youngest winner, and Kyle Busch. It's amazing youth here in this field. And how about some experience here? We talk about Bobby Gerhardt. Mark Thompson, 64-year-old Mark Thompson, has had 10 top five finishes here and at Talladega, the sister racetrack to this. Mark Thompson's finished second here. He sat in a pole. He hasn't got to victory lane. He wants to change that here today. When you do your homework for an ARCA race at Daytona, you realize really quickly some big names have gone to victory lane at this place. Your brother, the late Benny Parsons, Iggy Katona, who's second on the all-time wins list. You talked about Kyle Petty. How about Tim Richmond, Ryan Newman, defending Sprint Cup champion Kyle Busch. James Busher won a truck series title. He got the checkered flag here in 2009. 
Center. Back live at Daytona. Just about time for the season opener in the ARCA Racing Series. Two years ago in this event, it was all about driver 15. John West Townley only led nine laps on that Saturday afternoon, but it was enough to get him back to the checkered flag in the top position. His only victory in ARCA Series competition. He starts fifth here today. His plan to run 17 races this season. Of course, he's going to compete full-time in the Camping World Truck Series. One of the drivers, everybody Body is going to have to deal with in this afternoon's race. Starting a couple of positions in front of him are Menard's pole winner, and it goes to Cole Custer. We talked about him moments ago. He's the youngest ARCA pole winner here at Daytona. He delivered big time yesterday in group qualifying, trying to get his second career win in the ARCA Racing Series. He's already the youngest super speedway winner. Picked up the checkered flag at Pocono Raceway one year ago. So the field full of youngsters trying to make a name for themselves. Plenty of veterans here trying to add their name to the long list of winners who can say they graced victory lane at Daytona International Speedway. We're just moments away from the green flag. Now we're going trackside to get the command to fire engines at Daytona. Here to deliver the most famous words in motorsports, please welcome your Grand Marshal, Lucas Oil Series Director, Dan Robinson. Drivers, start your engines! Sound. 40 ARCA Racing Series engines have come to life, and it's just about time to get it done here in Daytona. We look at our starting lineup, brought to you by Lucas Oil. Combined age of our front row, 36 years. How about the first stock car race at the new Daytona Stadium? Yeah, and, and Chase Briscoe, a young kid out of Mitchell, Indiana, looking to make a big splash here today. Not a lot of stock car experience. Fifth race on pavement for Chase. Saw Matt Kurzieski there, qualified seventh, driving for Ken Schrader. He's excited about 2016. There's Greg Galding, a good qualifying effort also for Sarah Cornette Ching. See Bobby Gerhardt alongside Josh Williams, a Florida native. No doubt that six car one to watch today. Another dirt track racer, Kevin Thomas, in one of the Cunningham Motorsports cars. You mentioned Mark Thompson earlier alongside Dylan. And Lupton in row nine, row ten, the guy that was a rookie a year two years ago, Austin Wayne Self. Shane Lee from just outside of Hickory, North Carolina. Bo Lamast is so good late in 2016, looking to build on the momentum, and there's our ten-time champion, Frank Kimmel. Fred Hudson had a third-place finish here last year. He will go to back with Frank Kimmel for adjustments. Fred Hudson, a kid out of Owensboro, Kentucky, as you said, so good here at Daytona one year ago. Great to see Brad Smith back here. Last time he was on the racetrack, hard crash at Talladega. Good to see him back in the field. It's great to look at this starting lineup, and you see so many youthful faces. Many of them have never had an opportunity to work in the draft. And then you see all the veterans, names that we're accustomed to seeing anytime you go racing in the ARCA Racing Series. I mentioned a couple of guys that we'll watch today, Frank Kimball and Brett Hudson, no doubt drivers that will be a part of the equation this afternoon's race. But because of changes post-qualifying, they have to start at the reel. Yeah, they, I talked to Frank earlier today, and I said, He's, it, it may not be a bad thing to go back there for the start of this thing. When we come back, we'll be ready for the green flag. It's the season opener from Daytona International Speedway. Daytona, a couple of more pace laps, and we'll be set for the green flag in the ARCA Racing Series season opener is the Lucas Oil 200. And now our Scott Rookie of the Year candidates, teammates from Cunningham Motorsports, both have been great. Whether you go back to testing last month or the last couple of days of practice, and they showed how good they are in qualifying yesterday. Chase Briscoe, we talked about him earlier, qualifying in the third position, 21 years old. He's an open wheel sensation, much like Kevin Thomas Jr. Yeah, both of these drivers with very limited pavement experience, but uh, they're going to try to figure it out here. They've been very, very solid in practice. Kevin Thomas Jr. in 2013 won seven USAC sprint car races. And, and 
And look, as they were rolling off, the 77 of Chase Briscoe pulls off, maybe to adjust the steering wheel. That's a no-no in ARCA competition. Yeah, that's a no-no in ARCA. Once you roll off pit road here, you're not allowed to stop, and uh, they're going to put them to the back of the field here.